Hi everybody, Jenny Ford here. We're in Studio 5 today and I'm going to show you how I make my favorite green smoothie. Now the thing about green smoothies is that you can use all kinds of ingredients. I'm going to show you what I love, but then I'm also going to give you a couple options. So to start out, you're going to get a little bit of water just right there in the bottom of your blender because you want to have something to help thin out all of the veggies and fruits. Then I'm going to go ahead and add in, I like Greek yogurt, so I put in a couple scoops and I'll go ahead and link the actual measurements of the recipe for you in the description, okay? So I get just maybe a little more to make it nice and creamy. If you don't like Greek yogurt, you can use almond milk or that kind of thing. Then I go ahead and add in some blueberries, good antioxidants. Now you can also freeze your fruit. That's gonna make your smoothie a little more creamy. Like for example, I've got some strawberries right here. So I'm gonna add in some strawberries, okay? And then I love mangoes. They're like my very favorite right now. So I have frozen mango on hand, especially if you wanna do it any time of the year. And some bananas. I like to freeze my bananas as well because it really does help um, make your smoothie really smooth. Potassium, lots of good ingredients in there. Now, um, some omega-3s. You can have, walnuts are a great source. I've got some walnuts, that's all, all I had on hand today. You can also, I just do a couple tablespoons. Um, you can do flax seeds. There's all kinds of really goodness that you can put into your smoothies. Then I put in a ton of greens. Today I've got spinach. Um, you can do kale. There's really cucumbers. That's kind of a green veggie as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pack it in there. I really like to have most of the ingredients be from my, my spinach or my greens, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and put the lid on and we're gonna do smoothie, 60 seconds. Blend it up till it's nice and smooth. Some people also like to put ice cubes in if they don't wanna do any sort of um, yogurts or that kind of thing. So we're gonna go ahead and just give it a real good uh, blend, blend it all up. So now you're gonna blend all your ingredients until they're nice and smooth. I'm using a Blendtec blender today. These are great blenders for smoothies and other things, soups, all kinds of things you can do with, with this blender. So as you can see, it's nice and creamy, ready to, to go. I'm gonna go ahead and pour it in. And I think the most important thing about a smoothie is the taste. You gotta make sure it tastes really yummy. So somebody's only gonna get a half a cup here. <laughs> but you're gonna go ahead and get a little taste. Let me see how it tastes. Mm, really good, I really like that. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed it and again, I'll put the recipe below.